Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to see how you can create this beautiful bottom navigation bar in Flutter, which will have this sliding animation with this curve thing. So let's start the video, so here I have opened my empty project in which, I just have this empty container, so, for creating this button navigation bar, we need to use this curve navigation bar package, so for adding that package, come to the installing section and from here copy this thing, and then come to pubspec.yaml file, and here add that dependency, then tap on this pub get option, so that it will get all the dependencies. Now come into the main.dart file, and here after this body add the bottom navigation bar parameter, and here we will use our curve navigation bar, so add that, then it needs a list of items, so this items list is a widget list. So come up here and here create a list of widget which going to contain our navigation item. So here I am adding 5 icons for our bottom navigation bar as home icon, dashboard icon, cart, settings icon, and a person icon. And also add the final here because we are never going to modify this list. Then you can also add the const for all these icons, so that these warning will go. Then come into this curved navigation bar, and here assign this newly created item list to this items, now just save the code and after saving, we have error, and the error is coming because we forgot to add the semicolon here. So add that, now just save the code and here you can see, our bottom navigation bar is appeared with this curve thing, but this is not looking good, because this have its default background blue color, so for fixing that one thing you can do that you can make the color as transparent, but here I'm going to take another approach, so for that come above here and create BG color parameter, and assign it color blue, then add this same color variable to the body's container, and then save the code, and now bottom navigation bar's background color is matching with our container's background color. Now what else you can do, you can also add the same background color as your current navigation bar's background color. Now here for changing the page or performing some actions, you can make use of on tap function of this widget, which will have an index parameter, so this parameter will tell us that, user is seeing what page. So here let's add few condition, like if index is 0 then the background color is going to blue. If index is 1 then the yellow color and to the red color for index 2. If index is 3 then green, if index is 4 then teal color. And here also make use of set state, so that whenever the background color get changed, the UI will get notified. So now just save the code and you can see, we are on index 2 and the color is changed to red, now if you switch the page, then the bottom navigation bar's background color, and the container's background color is changing, and it is looking beautiful. Now let's add few more customization to it. So for changing the duration of this animation, like changing the speed of page switching, you can use animation duration parameter, and here you can assign your custom duration like here, page is moving slow, so let's make it fast, so for that add the duration of 300 milliseconds. Now just save the code and if you can see now, the transition is happening very smoothly and fast. Now you can also add the height of this bottom navigation bar, so the maximum height is 75 for this button navigation bar, so you cannot make increase height more than that. So let's add that and now if you save the code, then you can see the height is not changing. Now let's change it to 50, if you save the code, then our bottom navigation bar's height is decreased but it's not making much visual sense. So let's just remove this, and it is perfect now. You can also add the button background color, now let's here add the button background color parameter and assign the teal accent color, now if you save the code then you can see here the button's background color have this teal color, but white color is looking good than this teal. So just remove that, now you can also add the default index like when your screen or app is open, then which index should be appear first. By default it is set to 0, but we can modify that, so for that here, add the index as 2, then save the code then run the app, then you can see, the second index is open. Now you ask that why the color is not changed to red. So the color is not changed to red because our initial color is defined to blue and for changing it to red, user need to tap on the second index. So for fixing that just add the default color as red for this background color. Now if you save the code, 
then you can see default red color is appeared on the screen. So that was it for the basic implementation of this animated bottom navigation bar. Now, if you want to see more of these video, then please do subscribe to Widget Wisdom, and if you have learned something new from this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and you can also comment down that what you want to learn next.